Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Enjoy this presentation of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's Jimmy Mack coming to you live from the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. We're out of Clearwater, Florida area. And uh, gosh, the weather's been wild. It's either hot or pouring down rain, somewhere in between. We never know. Uh, But it's still paradise, so we're happy to be here. I uh, appreciate everybody being on the call tonight. Lots of folks, of course, on the computer end of the URL. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, it's 713-955-0594. Uh, we do have a weekly email that goes out. Tons of information in that. It's all free. There's audio in there and video and affirmations and all kinds of things to encourage you and keep you upbeat about life in general. Uh, We also have uh, a library of audio MP3s in there that would help you that are very transformational, as well as eight books that I've written over time. And uh, daily prayer, what else service-wise? Oh, and the courses. You could actually take a course online to do what I do. So if you fancy that, as they say, and you enjoy tonight or any other broadcast, uh, reach out to us. We'll send you more information. We sent out a ton of stuff for free, so don't hesitate to drop us a line, send us an email, say hello. Uh, Every week we have a different guest on, and uh, always excited about that. We like to mix things up. I will say, you know, I have a nightstand, two nightstands, and uh, on my nightstand I'll write things down in the middle of the night. I could probably write down a dozen things I'd like to change. Could be relationships, money, work, job, career, future, moving, whatever. So I'm sure you have just as many out there as far as the callers go. Grab one topic tonight, and let's address that. So let's stick to one question, and I think that'll be more direct for you, and it'll give you some awesome guidance. Excited about tonight's co-host and guest with us, uh, its special guest, Reverend Dr. Kimberly Marooney. And she was blessed with the ability to experience direct personal contact with God and the angels and spiritual beings. She was the first person in the world to earn a master's degree in angelology and a doctorate in spiritual psychology. Many of the best-known angel experts have sought to learn from her, including Doreen Virtue. Isn't that interesting? Kimberly skillfully combines her 40 years' experience as a mystic with her education to guide people into profound, life-changing angel encounters. I love that. By following inner guidance, this gifted mystic has authored a dozen books, including the best-selling Angel Blessings Cards, and founded the Angel Ministry. Most recently, Kimberly was appointed the president of Gateway University, a school for the study of higher consciousness. You can find out more at KimberlyMarooney.com. That's K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y-M-A-R-O-O-N-E-Y.com. I'm sure you're going to want to get some more after tonight and perhaps do a personal reading. How are you tonight, love? Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. I am so happy to be here, and thank you for that beautiful introduction. I love, I love your it. question. What would you change in your life? What a great question. Mhm. Very true, very true. And we always uh, get jammed when you're on. We love it, and we're excited uh, to for you to bring the energy that you do. Lots of folks on the call right now, they're going to want to press 1 if they want to come on live and ask a question. I know you travel a lot and you got a lot going on. What's been going on? Catch me up. Oh, I've got a trip coming up next week to Chilliwack. Mm-hmm. I love that name, Chilliwack. That's in British Columbia and Canada. And um, oh, wow. I'm going from Chilliwack to an uh, uh, outlying area of Vancouver for a second thing there. 
And I'm very excited nice. about it because we're going to be doing angel healing, which is the topic of my new book coming out in September. Oh, I like that. Angel healing. How cool is that? Hey, is yeah. that the best website for you? I know you've got several. Is it KimberlyMarooney.com? Will that work best for folks to get that to you? That works best. KimberlyMarooney.com okay. is a great starting point. Mm-hmm. Good. And they can find you on Facebook and everywhere else, just like me, of course. Every, I'm everywhere. So. I'm everywhere. Yep. Yep. Everywhere and doing everything. I love it. I love it. Well, folks, you're going to want to press one to get in on this show tonight because I know it's good stuff and uh, – she and I always mix it up and have fun with it. 216 is our first caller. Yes, we do. <laughs> Hi, 216, you're on live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Desmond calling us from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, Desmond. How are you tonight? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Good. What's your question for Kimberly? Um, I have a question for her, and I got a statement for you. So I'll go with the question first. Um, okay. What do you see for her um, career coming for me? What a good question, Desmond. And as I'm tuning into your energy, it helps me to have a little bit more information. So do you have some options available to you that you're considering? Yeah, I mean, I have a short term and long term. Short term, I was thinking about maybe starting a cleaning business or just to get me some money going so um, I can complete my holistic learning and trades I have to learn. I have to learn. That's the long term. The holistic is the long term, but uh, um, oh, but if anything beautiful. comes up. Yeah. So as I tune into your, your angels, Desmond, you have a few angels supporting you. The first one is the angel of determination to help you stay focused. I know anytime we go into a long-term training in order to to really improve our lives, you know, like Jimmy was saying at the beginning, what would you do to change your life? I'm really happy to hear that you're in a holistic educational program to set you up in a in a, a work a business or a work situation that's going to really support your heart and your soul. That part, your angels are very happy about that. So the first angel is the angel of determination to help you keep going through everything that life is going to throw at you and is throwing at you now. And the angel that's the wingman for the determination angel is the angel of gifts, reminding you that you have some very powerful and precious gifts. And when you stay focused, when you stay determined, when you have courage, when you do whatever it takes to be able to keep going in your education so that you can launch your new um, holistic practice, you have so many angels on your side working to support you. So your guardian angel is there. The angel of divine plan is saying, yes, 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 keep going. The angel of determination is helping you to find solutions regardless of what pops up. And the angel of gifts is reminding you that you have some remarkable gifts to share that people need. So keep going, Desmond. You are on the right track. Love that. Gosh, that's huh? deep stuff. How does that feel? Uh, it feels great. It feels great. Very inspirational. Nice. Oh, wonderful. And, um, Good. And uh, what's going on, buddy? How can I help you? Oh, uh, yeah. How you doing, Jimmy? Um, yeah, I was Good. talking to. Uh, I was uh, referred to you by Corey G. She said I need to talk to you. I guess um, maybe the medical intuitive part, or maybe you can. Help coach me along the way, but that's who referred me. I don't know if you know familiar with Tori G. Oh yeah, Tony G. I love. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is your question as far as what I'm doing, or do you have a question about yourself medically, or what's going on? Um, no, just um, more so of. What you do, like, I know you're medical intuitive. Uh, I mean, how do oh, I? Oh, okay. So what I do, yeah. So 
what you want to do is send us an email. It's info at jimmymachealing.com. If you send us an email, we're going to send you a ton of stuff. It's all free, and it explains everything. And you can read, watch, and listen to it. There's shows in there. There's audios and videos and shows like this one and uh, a bunch of different things. It's all free. So, yeah, um, to, to answer the question, what do I do, you know, we don't. We go to we go to we go to midnight. <laughs> I mean, we go to midnight. As, I'd be scratching the surface. So. <laughs> I mean, as far as I become a medical intuitive, what's the first step? Just meditate to get in tune. With yeah. The fear uh, or... Well, yeah. I would like I said. I would just go ahead and send us an email. It's info at jimmymachealing dot com. I'll send you all kinds of information. It's all free. There are things you can read, watch, and listen to on that. We do have courses online. Uh, they're very reasonably priced. It doesn't take long to get through them, and that might help you as well. So reach out for that. There's no. I, I wish I had a snappy one-liner for you, but you know, I've been doing it. I've been doing it for decades. So it's it, it'd be like. You know, asking Kimberly for an angel one-liner, you know. <laughs> <It's> like, right. <laughs> so, makes sense? So, reach out to us, yeah. buddy, okay? Yeah, we're All glad right. you called in tonight. Thank you. Have a great night, yeah. okay? That's awesome. Lots of folks in listen mode only, 713-955-0594. You want to press 1 to raise your hand. 407, I know where that is, out of... Uh, Orlando area. Hi, you're next. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, yes. Um, my name is Tisha, and I'm calling from Washington, D.C. area. Oh, okay. That is 407 area code. What's going on, Tisha? Yes, I'm from Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, just not okay. going to change my number. <laughs> okay. Um, my, it's all good. my question is, <laughs> yes, yeah, so my question is about um, a new job um, for me that'll allow me to finish school. Um, the hours I work right now are not ideal. So I want to know what, what's the store for me as far as that upcoming soon. Oh, what a wonderful question, Tisha. I am such a huge proponent of education. You know, education helps us to uh, enter new phases of life that we really can't find our way to any other way. So your angels, again, as I'm looking at your angels, Tisha, they are jumping up and down in joy that you are in school and you're exploring how to create a better life for yourself, how to open your heart, how to be be of more service to others. And and there are two angels that really are in support of your guardian angel to help you. The first one is the angel of fortitude, who is, uh, you know, just like with Desmond saying, don't give up. Have strength. Have inner strength. Have courage. Because life throws us all kinds of stuff. And along with that is the angel of action. So as you're looking for a new job with better hours to help support your studies, you're going to have to do some work here. You're going to have to take action. You're going to have to have inner strength. All of the qualities that you have that are so beautiful are coming out to help support you in creating the life that's going to really serve you. So, yes, a new job is coming. Your angels are happy. Your guardian angel is happy. The angel of divine plan is happy. You are on your path. You are going in the right direction. Just have fortitude. Have inner strength. And when you know what to do, don't hesitate. Take the action. Okay. Love thank you. That. How does that feel? How does that feel? Good. Good. Really good. I appreciate that. Oh, excellent. Fantastic. Excellent. Keep keep the faith, honey. There was a time when I had three jobs at one time. So best time for you to find a job is when you already got a job. You know what I'm saying? So, I do. Yeah. So keep at it. Uh, you got about within the next four weeks, I think you can end up doing something different that might suit your schedule better. And just okay. Kimberly is tracking perfect on that without a question. So about you're okay. less than 30 Good. days out. Okay. But never okay. stop. Thank and you just so much. Be really, yeah, just be really vigilant about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Fantastic. Thanks for your call. We appreciate Beautiful, it. Beautiful, okay. Keisha. Thank you. Thank yeah. Four six four one six is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Rachel, and it's Toronto. Hey, Rachel. Welcome to the show. How are you tonight? Oh, great. I'm really excited. Um, so my question that I would like help with, or I don't even know how to phrase it, is my uh, overeating, my addiction to food. So if any insight from either one of you would be greatly appreciated. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. I was in your fine city last fall for the Parliament of World Religions. I love Toronto. It's a beautiful so, city, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. I was near the at the convention center near the aquarium. Mm. So, um, so what's at the heart of your challenges with food is self-love, Rachel. Do you know that? Okay. So when you're loving yourself, you slow down, you take time, you question, you search within for what's going to help you. So the angel of love is with you, and Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing, is here with you to help you. I'm looking with my inner vision at your angel team, and you have lots of angels. And they're letting me know that this particular challenge is helping you to overcome a lot of stuff from the past, to let it go and to come into a place of deep self-love so that before you eat anything, you stop, you pause. Pause is the most important word here. Pause and tune into your body. Does your body really want to eat this? What part of you wants to eat it? How much of it does your body want to eat? And with each bite... If you take the time to taste it in your mouth, to enjoy the flavors, to enjoy how it feels while you're chewing it, you'll become more satisfied. So I know I've noticed for myself that when I'm just eating and I'm not paying any attention, I don't notice that I'm full. And also, if I'm not eating the right food, it doesn't satisfy me and it doesn't matter how much I'm eating, I'm still hungry. So... It's very important to trust your body. Your body knows. Trust your heart. Your heart knows. Eat what is truly right for you to eat. And eat only the right amount so that you're pausing between every bite, wondering, am I full yet? Am I full yet? What does it even feel like to be full? Hmm, I wonder. What does it feel like to be satisfied? What does it feel like to be nourished? And when you get the right combination of food in the right quantity, you'll start to know what it feels like to be deeply nourished by food. And there's another piece to this. Besides food, there's the piece of nourishment, of energy nourishment. So a lot of times when we're feeling hungry or we feel like we need to eat, we're not really hungry for food. We're hungry for comfort or we're hungry for love or we're hungry for joy or satisfaction or creativity. There's something else that we're hungry for. But we've transformed that particular kind of hunger. We've refocused it on food. We've connected it with food. So we've got some wrong wiring in our being. Does that make sense, Rachel? Unbelievable. Like spot on, yes. Well, I was just writing about this in my angel healing book. I have a chapter on overeating and food addictions. <laughs> so, Love that. Fortunately, oh, you know, well I have said. that to draw on here as well as my own experience. So um, I've gotten off my usual eating path, and I've been just eating stuff, and I've gained 10 pounds, and I don't, I, I, I'm not happy. <laughs> so I've been exploring, well, what am I doing? How am I really serving the needs of my body when I eat? And um, I'm not. So, you know, I'm coming back to self-love, too, to pausing, to asking the question, what can I eat right now that, that will really serve? Or am I actually hungry? Is there something else that I'm craving? So all good questions for you to experiment with, Rachel. Oh, thank Love you that. so much. Mm-hmm. Well said. I would consider, honey, what comes up for you is uh, – following no white on your diet 
And by no white, I mean no white flour. Uh, yeah, you actually I, test for almond flour, no white potatoes, but you could have yams, no white rice. You actually test good for brown rice. Of course, no white sugar, but you could have stevia. You get the idea. Uh, you test good for almond milk instead of regular milk. So I'm not about deprivation as much as I am about switching it up. Most people need digestive enzymes big time. You don't even test that strong for them, but you certainly need probiotics. And Dr. Oz did an entire show on probiotics, and it was best to take them in between lunch and dinner. So that would help you out a lot. And I mean oh. a bunch. So makes oh, sense? Like how many? How many? Uh, well, whatever ones you buy, I'm just picturing what you're going to buy right now. One, two, three, four, as many as four, like every afternoon. You could have as many as four, three times a day. They're not going to hurt you. I mean, they're just positive. You know, there's antibiotics and probiotics, and that's just what it sounds like. So that would go a long way to help you out. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate it. You bet. That will establish better gut flora for you and also help things uh, as far as your digestion goes and especially elimination. Oh, so wow. You get the idea. Awesome. Thank you okay. so much. You're <laughs> welcome. We're glad you called in, honey. I hope you have a great night. Thanks so much. Oh, you too. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, Rachel. Gosh, she's so sweet. You'd think she was Southern and not from Toronto. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You bring out the best of my callers, Kimberly. I love it. Nine one zero is our next call. Yeah. Nine one zero. Hi. Hello. Who's this? Oh, hello. Can you hear me, Miss Kimberly? I can. Who's this? This is Z Bell. Um, I talked to you a long time ago. Yes, I, I know just... you. I knew your voice was familiar. <laughs> Oh, my God. Thank you for everything. You taught me so much. You know, we just you, you really taught me what that show Touched by an Angel really meant. And I, I oh, just I you. really I really cannot thank you enough. Um, I just have a reading about, um, you know, me. Basically, I'm trying to transition um, because, you know, I've definitely been a self-help junkie my whole life. But I wanted to know, do you think me becoming a travel agent? I'm, I'm trying to pursue that schooling. Do you think that would be a good field for me? Oh, you know, travel agent, oh, that sounds so wonderful for you. I love the sound of that word, of that, um, I love the sounds of those words, and I see your angels are very happy about that. They're jumping up and down. And oh. it has some interesting, interesting energy consequences for you. So, I see some potential of um, an immersion. Um, from an immersion, the angel of immersion is helping you to get in. When people travel, there's a couple of different reasons. So would you be doing business travel or pleasure travel? Wow. Yeah, and see, this this travel agent school um, requires we work under an actual travel agent corporation that, that you know, mm -hmm. caters to a wide variety of uh, corporate and um, actually, you know, just leisure travel. Ah, uh -huh, wonderful, wonderful. Because what I see for you more is the corporate. Does it feel like that? Definitely. Yeah, I, it feels more like the corporate. And getting immersed into the thinking of why are people traveling for work? Why are they traveling for business? How can you truly support their needs and make sure they get what they want? And the other interesting angel here has to do with a little romance. Are you in a relationship? Yes. So so this has the potential of stirring up some more excitement, of lighting you up. And, you know, when we light up, when we're happy, when we're joyful about what we're doing, our bodies are happy, our bodies are more, re more receptive to loving, <laughs> we're more receptive to great sex with our mate. Yes. And, and when we're all lit up, life is just wonderful. So this has the potential of being really a blessing for you, not only in terms of a job that you would enjoy and that would pay you well, but also in terms of just lighting you up, lighting up your life so that your family life, your home life, your personal life is more satisfying and it's just juicier. Oh, my goodness. This is, well, so I can really be that sovereign 
you know, just um, embodier of this amazing grace and um, really feeling like I can truly thrive long term. Absolutely. Absolutely. (gasps) Oh, my goodness. You really are the real deal. I cannot thank you enough. Oh, you are so welcome. I'm just so happy to hear from you again. Thank you for your time, and you just, you're just you just such an amazing beacon to me. Thank you. Oh, thank Love you. It. So keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Sounds great, honey. Thanks for calling in, too. We appreciate it. Gosh. Thank you. Very interesting. Uh, Kimberly, don't you find right now more than ever there's a lot of changes going on? I know we had that strawberry moon. I mean, what is your feeling on all this happening? You're doing a lot of travel, too. Oh, big changes. No kidding. No kidding. So, Mm -hmm. you know, as I was looking into the theme for today, I know I was curious Mm -hmm. about that. And one of one. So two angels are are supporting us right now in this current time. One is the angel of vulnerability. So um, many people that I've been talking to have been having a pretty rough time the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. They feel vulnerable. They feel unfocused. Um, A couple of people that I know have had falls and had little minor injuries. Um, My Mm -hmm. husband had a little incident, a little accident, and fortunately he was okay and we were able to repair repair the damage. But there's been, we're vulnerable. We are so vulnerable right now. And the good news of vulnerability is for these big changes that are happening, it opens our hearts and our minds to see life differently and to look Mm. for possibilities or opportunities that we might not have have noticed before if we were set in our ways. Mm -hmm. So the angel of vulnerability is helping us to just... Uh, vulnerability is about overcoming I know everything. <laughs> you can't right. tell me anything. I know everything. Vulnerability says, hmm, perhaps what you have to offer me could be useful. <laughs> That's right. vulnerability. And or then at least on the other you out. Yeah. Right, right. And mm-hmm. on the other side of that is benediction. So through these big changes, through the strawberry moon and these wild energies that are happening right now, we have the opportunity to make big change from the perspective of blessing instead of trauma. Mm. So what if, yeah, what if as we're making big changes in life, we can view it as a blessing we can keep our eye focused on the prize of the blessing that we're heading toward. And we can let go easily of what we're leaving behind us in the change. Mm. I, I know in, at previous times in my life, it was really hard for me to let go. And I've gone through a couple of times where I have lost massive amounts. A husband died. I lost assets. I lost a home. I've lost friends, I've lost work, I've lost massive amounts. And when I'm focused on what I'm losing, I am miserable and suffering. But when I can let go of what I'm losing and just have the belief that if I'm losing it, I must be done with it. (laughs) And there's something greater that's calling me to it. So if I can Mm. keep my eye focused on where spirit is taking me and focus on the benediction and the blessing of the people I'm meeting and grab the opportunities and the possibilities that are coming into my hands instead of steamrolling over them, that's when change becomes really exciting and, you know, kind of fun. Love it. So well said. You know, and I tell folks, too, if you get down, you're feeling down tonight, gosh, count your blessings. I go, oh, my gosh, I got food, shelter, clothing. We have electricity. We got the Internet. I got a little phone here and, you know, air conditioning and a roof over my head. I mean, just get so down with the basics. That's Mm -hmm. what helps me become more humble and then build from that. You know, so yeah, yeah. Always know and add that, to that. So add to that friends, family, support, mm-hmm. and the Jimmy Mac radio angels. show to call into angels, <laughs> angels. spirit. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Right. I love it. So well said. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yep, hundred percent. I love it. You're spot on, and it's very interesting always. So. Really love that. 631 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Six, Hi, my three, name one. is Roberta. Hi, my hey, name is Roberta. Hey, Roberta, welcome to the show. How are Hi, you Roberta. tonight? Hi, Kimberly, how are you? I remember you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, this is Roberta from New York, isn't it? It is Roberta from New York, yes. <laughs> oh, thanks for calling in again. Well, thank you for allowing me to have this time, the both of you. Jimmy, you too. So, Kimberly, oh, I've been listening to what you were saying, mm-hmm. and it has been a quick, big bumpy. But my question is, um, it's about both my financial security and my career. And part of it is that I'm working on my Ph.D., so I know you understand where my head's cool. probably at. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. But I'm looking to become a full-time professor and or assistant dean at a college. And so I'm trying to drive it that way, but mm, it's not, mm, I'm not there. So I wanted to see what you could kind of help me out and give me tonight to get me a little more settled uh, and not freaking out about my finances, but also right, leaving right. next step. Right. So as I said at the beginning, I am a firm believer in education. Education is what helps us to grow, to expand, to be more useful in our own life and also in the world and to others. And so I love the feeling as I'm tuning into your angels. They are jumping up and down in joy of you becoming a full-time professor and a college dean. So you are well on the way. It's happening, but, you know, it can be a bumpy road. So the best thing to do is to trust the process. Trust what's happening. Trust the opportunities that are coming up. So I was just talking about being vulnerable, being um, open to to um, opportunities that you might not have seen before. And another thing to look at is forgiveness. What is it that you're still hanging on to that is the same thing that comes up every time that may need some more forgiveness? What is that? What gets in your way? Is this an old belief? Is it a limiting thought? Is it something from family or past? Is it something someone said to you? What is that thing that gets in your way when you're not getting that offer for the professorship or that or the college dean position? What does your mind say to you? What do you feel in your heart? Well, I probably am thinking it's probably a family thing of – I, I was always very uh, inquisitive, and I was always very, you know, uh, curious, and I always liked to learn. And my siblings, not my parents so much, but my siblings always found that I thought I was too smart, you know, that that whole thing. And so I shy away from those bigger opportunities and when it's time for me to speak for myself. I kind of shy away from that. Then afterwards, I'm upset with myself. Mm-hmm. That yeah, I just didn't believe enough that I'm good enough to do it. You are. So are you ready to forgive that? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Jimmy, do we have a minute for a little forgiveness? Sure. Meditation? Please. We're Excellent. gonna we're gonna make Excellent. we're gonna make it for everybody that ever hears the call tonight and ever hears the call in the future. I was Absolutely. just gonna say that. I was just gonna yeah. say that. So for all of our listeners. What I want you to do is think of what is it for you that you're ready for to forgive. It could be a family or sibling thing like this. It could be with coworkers or a mate or children or neighbors. Whatever it is, what are you really ready to forgive and let go? And so let's close our eyes with that and just relax for a moment. Breathe. And for this kind of a thing, it helps to have a shorter inhale and a longer exhale. Because this kind of an issue, this kind of old criticism, judgment, fear, pain, shame, this hangs out in the limbic part of our brain. It's the oldest part of our nervous system as human beings. It's our fight or flight thing. So when we have a a shorter inhale and a longer exhale, so let's say you inhale to four and you exhale to eight. That kind of longer exhale calms the limbic brain that freaks out. 
It calms the limbic brain and lets us come into a state of peacefulness and receptivity. As the limbic brain calms, we're able to switch over to our frontal cortex, which is capable of higher thinking and connection with our intuition and our higher knowing. So as you breathe, let all of that past go. Bless it. Thank it. Because it has its purpose. Rejoice that it has served its purpose. Its mission is complete. Thank it. Rejoice. Mission complete. And as you breathe and come into this higher state of consciousness in your frontal cortex, you might even just want to put your fingertips on your forehead and lightly touch your forehead, tap your forehead, or maybe do a counterclockwise circle or a figure eight or a pattern cosmic symbols, (laughs) whatever feels right for you to bring your attention to that higher um, consciousness, that connection of higher consciousness. And have a thought right now. Have a vision for what you truly want. For Roberta, that's a full-time professor job um, position, a college dean. So what is it for you that you really want? And allow yourself the feeling of it's mine. It's a done deal. This is my divine providence. This is my divine plan, and I claim it now. I step into my now. It's not sometime in the future. It's now. I call it forth from the future to come into now. And imagine yourself walking down a hallway, opening a door, and going into that now. So for Roberta, that would be walking into that classroom that is her classroom, walking into her office as a dean. So what is it for you? Imagine what's through that door that you are calling forth from the future into now. And as you sit there at your desk as a college dean or as you stand there in this place of co-creativity, whatever it is for you, feel in your heart a deep gratitude for everything that got you to this moment. And as you're in this room of fulfillment, See all of your angels around you, the angels on your team who have been working by your side day and night to get you into this now. And also here is all of the people who've helped you get there. Family members, friends, coworkers, neighbors, everyone who's challenged you, everyone who's supported you and loved you, everyone who's criticized you. They all helped you to get to now. So with deep forgiveness and gratitude in your heart, know that this has made you strong. This has made you resilient and rejoice in this accomplishment. It is accomplished. And with that in your heart, open your eyes and say, yes. Oh, how did that feel? Oh, that felt absolutely wonderful. It felt so absolutely great. It it was, it was just good. Oh, wonderful. I can see you in that office as Dean. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Keep the faith, gosh. Beautiful. Yeah, never give up. You know, I always end the show with... Uh, you know, to make progress every day. And may the rest of your life be the best of your life. And that's the way you've got to look at this. This is a long-term campaign. This is not something you graduate college, you know, with, and all of a sudden you got your master's, your PhD, and you're all of a sudden the dean, you know. So okay. it's a long-term campaign. You've got to think of it more as chess instead of checkers. 
that's it. And just ch- just chew off a little bit at a time. Take the summer classes. If you're burned out, take a summer class. You know, a little bit at a time. You'll get there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Kimberly, can I ask you one you're more welcome. question? Sure, sure. What's up? So for my financial security, I've, all, I've always had that kind of wrapped up around my career and finances, and right now I'm just struggling financially. Is there a card that I should be using out of either of your books to really help with that energy and that vibration? Fortunata and the Angel Blessings cards, Fortunata. And in the Angel Love cards, Rejoicing. Because joy energy is what attracts abundance to us. So when you're happy, when you're all lit up, when you're feeling engaged with life, that's what attracts abundance. Okay. Okay. So Fortunata in Angel Blessings and Rejoicing in Angel Love. Okay. Love that. Got it. Thanks for calling (laughs) in. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kim. Be good. You're welcome. (laughs) Thank you. Okay. Have a great night. Thanks, honey. 707 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Jimmy. This is Valerie. How are you? Hey, I'm great, Valerie. How are you tonight? You have a question for Kimberly? Basically, well, for both, actually. Uh, For you, Jimmy, especially. Can you scan my, my throat and my neck? And see if there's anything going on there. Well, what's going on? Let's let's. I have. You know, we don't have an hour, so. Yeah. No, I know. I have a call. Okay. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So throat is always about speaking up, speaking up, and speaking (laughs) your truth, as Kimberly would tell you too. Doesn't test viral; it tests bacteria. Mold, fungus, mildew, yeast, candida, negative patchen, parasites, heavy metals. I'm going bacteria all the way around. I mean, you could stand an antibiotic. It's up to you. Uh, I don't get strep okay. throat, but it's definitely bacterial. Also, there's an awful lot of healing at the little dollar store. So for you, blue, green, yellow, red, you test great for a red dollar store mouthwash. I'd be gargling with that about five times a day. And uh, okay, that's going to go a long to, way to help you out, too. Yeah, because I bought the oral gel mouthwash. Yeah, but oral gel is really for teeth and whatnot. You've got a sore throat. That's deeper in the back. Oral gel okay, generally so will I'm, numb out your gums so your teeth won't hurt. And that's kind okay. of a, you know, patched up pattern until you can get help. But the red colored, a lot of colors resonate with people and can seem to help. But if you get the red dollar store, you know, Dollar Tree Listerine style mouthwash, I'd be gargling with that about five times a day. People also okay. either test generally for hydrogen peroxide or baking soda. When I ask Spirit, you test good for baking soda. So I'd be brushing my teeth and flossing my teeth with baking soda. And this tends okay. to alkaline the mouth and, and the whole area, and that would help you out as well. So does that okay. help? Yeah. Yeah, and what about the awesome. neck? Do you see anything going on with the neck? Um, I mean, I don't. Feel... Yeah, I don't get neck per se. You're thinking it's out. You're getting headaches, maybe some jaw stuff. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and there then, you go. So. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you have and uh, C. C. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you have C two is out. So, you could stand to get a good chiropractic adjustment just saying stand up right now we'll rock some stuff out face you north that'll help you the okay. most and put your okay. own hand right where your neck is you'll feel we're going to okay. do it different this time you'll feel a weakness it's going to drop you backwards here we go oh yeah almost immediately okay yeah and so all i'm going to do is fish it in and Put in positive strength right now. It's going to pull you forward when the strength comes in. Here we go. Okay. Yes. And you'll feel a wave. Then it's going to bring you back to neutral once it's done. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Thank Makes you, sense. Jimmy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Thank you very much. Of course. Yeah. So, Valerie, do you want to go a little? Kimberly? Do you want to go a little deeper on that? Yeah, get to the emotional uh, stuff too. Well, I'm not really so, deeper on that. I'd like to look at something else. Okay, what else do you <laughs> well, want to look at? What do you got? <laughs> um, for me, a relationship that's been um, I'm calling in the one for me. Okay, okay. So before that one is going to show up, there is yet a little bit of healing that needs to happen, and that's actually related to this cough. So when we're coughing, it's like we're <coughs> something stuck in our throat, you know, <coughs> and neck issues, something stuck in there, you know. And so to call in that one, we need to be open to get the right one, the one that's truly the blessing we want. We want to be sure and clear out all that old stuff. So there's some transcendence that needs to happen. There's some healing still that needs to happen with what came before this. So does someone come to your mind that is still causing a little grief in your heart? Uh, Past relationships, no. It's been quite a long time. So Mm -hmm. if it is, it's on the unconscious level. Okay, and is there something related to family? Oh, there's always stuff going on there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So so it's an opportunity, again, to just look at how how do you get sucked in to the family dynamic that, that is um, not the greatest, and how can you take a breath and step back from that? Sometimes it's not always the best to tell the truth in our family, but we do need to tell the truth in ourselves. So, I, you know, I don't know about your family. I don't know what kind of family you have. Some of us have families where it's just not really safe to tell the truth, and acknowledging that is important. And at the same time, we can tell ourselves the truth. We can speak the truth to ourselves. So there's some truth-telling that you can do to yourself and maybe even to your family that will help clear up that cough, that neck and throat issue, and open the way for calling in the one. So as you listen in your heart, what is that truth telling that you know needs to happen? Uh, That I can no longer be the savior for the family. Oh, God, how powerful is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And you may need to speak that out loud with your family. I I'm doing that. Yes. Beautiful. I have done that. And as you transcend the past, as you break this old pattern of being the savior for the family, a new relationship will form that is very sweet. And I know I've been doing this recently with my own family. Um I was in the savior position. And I have allowed, I have stepped back and let my brother step into that place. And it has made him such a wonderful man. So I'm glad that I did that. So as you step out and open space for someone else to step in, you are blessing them with an experience to become a better them. Can you feel that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And as you do that, it will also open up the space in your life for the one to come in. So right now your family is still occupying that space. And by stepping out of the Savior position, you're opening up the space for your one beloved to come in to you. How does that feel? Mm. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. I'm so glad you called Valerie. Thanks thank for calling you so in. Very much. Yes, thank you both very much. Thank you. You oh, bet. Thank you. Thanks thank for you. your time as well, honey. Hey, we'll grab one more call. Kimberly, it's flying by. That you and I always feels like ten minutes, and we collapse oh. time instead of the hour, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does. I love it. Let's grab. Uh, see who's next here. Nine two zero. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Linda from Wisconsin, Linda, Kimberly. Linda, <laughs> hi, 
Hi, Linda. Oh, Hi, beloved, my my, beloved Linda. Yes, one of your beloved ministers. I love yeah. it. Hello. I love, we, love that it. We cook. Yes. Oh, Welcome so to the show, honey. You have a um, question? Yes. Um, well, kind of a, a question concern. Um, I think you even started with the call, call about curveballs. <laughs> and I've yeah, had a curve lot, of, lot of curveballs lately and, and ongoing. And there's another one. Um, most recently, my I moved to Slinger because mm-hmm. my youngest daughter was here and she had mm-hmm. uh, twin baby boys and they're yep. the love of my life and blah, blah, blah. Um, they are now going to move because they want a, a family home. And so my, my, my other kids are in this area. She's not moving. I mean, she's, not, she's still going to be within half hour, hour from where I'm at. The, thing, the question is where I live now, I just started working out of my home again this year. I was um, doing energy work in another facility. I just started in my home again, and I have an opportunity to expand here. Um, Do I take that opportunity, or do I keep myself open and flexible to move on? So let's close our eyes for a minute and breathe into our hearts. And as you breathe into your heart, feel all of the good work that's gone into setting yourself up in your home the way you are now, working, building your new practice. And then take a step back, take another breath, and imagine what else might be possible. And as you imagine that imaginary possibility, how does that feel? And then if you go back and forth between the two, hmm, here and now, I know this. Hmm, there and when. Hmm, I wonder what might be there. What has the most pull for you? Well, the... Hmm. What's out? The, you know. What's what? What could be next was felt very expansive when you when I went there. Hmm. Like endless possibility kind of thing. Yeah. What What gets you? You know, we've talked about being hot and juicy. What gets you lit up? What are you passionate? Most passionate about? Well, besides my own energy work, it's it's definitely my grandkids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been following this journey with your grandkids for, what, seven, eight, nine years? <laughs> ten years? Yes, because, because, yes, well, ten, because I was in 2010 class. Yeah. Um, but first it was actually I have two sets. My my mm-hmm. my son's yep. girls are seven, like mm-hmm. you you said, seven. And and then my daughter's little boys are going to be a year soon. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, I would just give yourself permission to just be curious. We're talking with somebody else about curiosity. Valerie, we're talking about this wonderful gift mm-hmm. of curiosity with Valerie. Was that Valerie or was that Roberta? Roberta. Roberta was the one. Yeah, that was Roberta. Curious. So mm-hmm. we have this wonderful quality of curiosity, of imagination. And um, I was just I was t- doing some tweets this afternoon, and um, I was reading a tweet. Uh, encouraging us to imagine an amazing life. And what would that look like? What would be in it? Who would be in it? What's most important to us? 
So this process of exploration really starts with being curious, with using imagination, with tapping into that expansive quality of endless possibilities. And see what's what most suits you. So who knows? It could be that you stay where you are and you just do a little traveling to hang out with the grandkids. 100%. That's what I get. It mm-hmm. could be that staying where you are, developing your healing practice, because I know that your healing practice lights you up too. I know yes. how much yes. you love helping people. Yes. And, and I know how hard it is to start all over again, again. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> right. So, so Absolutely. who knows? Maybe you have a pos- a, a combination of staying where you are for your healing practice and then maybe a couple of days a week you drive up and stay with the stay with the boys. Mm-hmm. Love that. So here's a good okay. opportunity yeah. to be open to those expansive, endless possibilities that might not be anything like you would imagine the first time around. Mm-hmm. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It feels right. It feels pretty darn good. Hey, they're not it's moving still, three states away, you know, 30 well, minutes, no, whatever, no, you know, an hour. That's right. So that's right. You're good. So I get 100%. Get, I'm getting the. I'm getting a full-blown three-ring circus of stay where you're at, and you oh, keep setting boy. that up, honey. You know, for you and me and Kimberly and a lot of folks, the mission is bigger just than those boys, and you're going to enjoy them, maybe go up there, spend the night on the weekend, whatever, babysit, help out all you can. You know, we all blink, and the next thing you know, they're driving cars and rolling their eyes at us, right? Yep, So absolutely. You know, you, you don't want to miss out on those time scars, and I get that. But, you know, you don't want to wake up one day and, you know, look at the practice you could have had, right? Right. So I right. feel like you can, you're can. you in a position to have it all. You really are. Wow. So, you you are, Linda. Yeah. You are such a gifted healing practitioner. Pe- mm-hmm. People oh, need what you, you offer. People need it. Thank you. That's a yeah. fact. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both so much. Thanks for so calling much. in tonight, Love honey. You, Thank Gosh. you. Love you too, Kimberly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Great show as always. Thanks for joining me tonight, honey. Tell everybody how to best get a hold of you. They're going to want to go deeper and have deeper readings than tonight, of course. Lots of oh, folks yeah. still on the call and they didn't, they didn't get yeah. through. So, so that's website, I, I actually that's have phone a, number, email. I have a free gift. So mm-hmm. a good, good way to start is to go to recognizeyourangels.com and get this free gift. And you'll be able to reach love me through that. there. So recognizeyourangels.com. I love that. We'll put that uh, on the link as well in the replay and let folks know. And anybody that reaches out to us, it's info at jimmymachealing.com. If you'd like a copy of tonight's show, we'll send you the link. Lots of folks always ask for that because they don't remember every little message they got, which is true. And mm-hmm. also remember any of these healings we did here tonight for folks, it's going to work for you tonight as well if you have the same challenge or issue. And also even in the future, as long as you hear the sound of our voice, things can and will change. So thank you so much. It's always an honor to have you on, and we appreciate you, honey, and you always bring it. So thanks for helping everybody and being of such a bright light for the world. It's awesome. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. What a pleasure to be here with you and with all of our great callers and listeners. Thank you for being a Mm -hmm. part of my life. Love it. Thanks again. Folks, that's our show for tonight. Join us each week, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jimmy Mac Healing Show. I want to wish everybody the rest of your life will be the best of your life. And remember to make progress every day. Thanks. Bye for now. <laughs>